What's happening everybody, ATO Ace the Outsider here with another episode of Use That Pokemon, so check it out as always. I figure out how Pokemon would be used in the real world, how I would apply them in real world settings, um, besides battling. So last episode I did Butterfree and Beedrill in their respective evolution forms. So now I'm kind of going to bunch a lot of them, a lot of the next ones into one episode because they're kind of just not super exciting. So you got Pidgey. Spearow and you've got Rattata and honestly most of them are gonna be food <laughs> most of them are going to be on a plate I think Pidgey is kind of the equivalent of a chicken I mean I guess there's it's more like a pigeon but there's no chicken Pokemon I think that if any Pokemon is going to be uh, an edible bird it's Pidgey because some things is everywhere and I don't think they're necessarily dirty I don't think they pick up trash like pigeons do but I think that if I was if I was to eat one of the bird it would be a big juicy pigeon pigeon on my plate Thanksgiving dinner either that or unpleasant but we not in that generation yet so we're just gonna stick with Pidgey the Pidgey family mad territorial it says it in most of the uh, data entries for Pidgey and Pidgeotto you could also I guess say that Pidgeys will be used as real pigeons are as carrier pigeons one of the data entries says Pidgey is capable of unerringly returning home to his nest however far it may be removed from its familiar setting so yes, carry a pigeon, no on the leg, boom, cool, fantastic, wow. Pidgeotto, more of a territorial type, but humans have been finding ways around creatures, territories for ages. So that don't mean nothing. He's gonna be on a plate in Thanksgiving dinner. Now, Pidgeot is a, is a lot more exciting. Um, I'm looking at some of the entries for this thing and there's just some things that I overlooked initially. So one data entry says that Pidgeot is capable of flying at Mach 2 speed. Mach 2 is twice the speed of sound. I don't know how the hell a bird can go twice the speed of sound, but that's that's really incredible. That's actually really, really deadly. In addition to that, Pidgeot can spot a Magikarp splashing from 3,300 feet. That's 3,300 feet. That is a really far distance. So not only do you have this bird that can dive at twice the speed of sound, it can spot prey that is really, really far away. That's lethal. I don't know how I would use that. I mean, would I use that in war? Hell yeah. I guess Pidgey would be a really good hunter, hunting buddy. For something to be able to hunt at that speed with that range of sight, uh, it can take down some pretty, some prey pretty quickly. It's almost unreal. That means that a Pidgey I could probably take down some pretty large prey. I think even a Gyarados would be hurt by something going that fast. That's fast enough where most prey won't even see that coming. Like, even a, a Tauros would be lifted off the ground. So, Pidgeot, nothing to mess with. Holy crap. So, Rattata, Raticate, both multiply incredibly disgustingly well. They can live damn near anywhere, any type of environment. It says that when you see one, there's 39 others living in that same space. I don't even want to think about that. On top of that, Raticate can swim. Uh, also, it can chew really it has a really strong jaw it can chew really hard one entry for rat even mentions that it can chew through a stone building so you mean to tell me this rat has teeth that are strong as a jackhammer to rob a bank i would have raticate i can see why team rocco used so many uh, raticate in the game raticate's jaw can chew through concrete that way they can get into buildings they can rob banks they can get into people's houses would i eat one probably not Probably not. I don't know how well Rattata's digestive system is. I know in some countries people consume mice, consume rats. Not my thing, son. Bruh. Not my thing. I don't know what those things is up to. They're, they reproduce a little too fast. So lastly, we come to Spiro and Feral. Looking through all their data entries, nothing too crazy about them besides that they're just territorial hunters. Nothing close as impressive as Pidgeot as far as strength or speed goes. If you would want to have one, I guess it'd be good to sit on top of your house protecting it. I mean, it's long beak is good for fishing and plucking out bugs, but nothing else crazy about Feral. So, in conclusion, as I always do, which Pokemon would I use and why would I use it? Um, I'm gonna go with Pidgeot, obviously because of everything I explained before. That thing is just incredibly strong, whether you want to use it to, to hunt or to defend you in battle. Uh, I think there was like something in the anime where I saw somebody in war times was using a Pidgeot. I can see why. That thing is crazy. It flies at Mach 2. It can see 3,300 feet away. 
um, and its wings are strong enough to produce gusts that can knock trees over, basically. So why wouldn't you want to have a badass like that behind you? On top of that, it's gorgeous. That, that mane is so colorful. You look gorgeous, flamboyantly, just riding the back of that thing through the sky at Mach 2. I mean, you would need like a helmet and maybe a seatbelt to protect your body from the sonic boom that it flies at. I don't think you should even fly on the back of a Pidgeot if it's going full speed. That could really end really badly for you. I don't know if you've ever been on or in or on anything that can fly Mach 2, but you need some type of protective gear, otherwise your body will be obliterated. So everyone, that is my show for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some pretty juicy details you didn't know about Pidgeot and some of the other Pokemon that I mentioned today. Of course, if you guys want me to do something different, do a different Pokemon, I'll gladly uh, do one, you know, otherwise I'll just move in order and just do them one thing at a time uh, Guys comment below. How would you use which Pokemon which Pokemon would you choose to be your companion? And how would you use it? I always like hearing some things about that um, Stay tuned for my next episode, which will be I think we have oh Pikachu's next I think it's gonna be exciting I'm gonna do some research and see what I can find about that lovely little mouse that we all know and love aka Japanese Mickey uh, That should be super exciting uh, and subscribe to me guys hit that little not notification bell that way, every time I post a new video, you'll be instantly updated, and boom, you can watch me as soon as I go up with my episodes. So, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Use that Pokemon. I'm Ace the Outsider. See you soon.